I don't know what to do. Hey, what's on your mind? I have to give a talk tomorrow on sleep. I just don't know what to say. What is sleep? Don't feel bad. Scientists don't really know exactly why we sleep, but science has some answers. Take a look at this. All animals sleep. Birds, fish, dogs, humans all need to sleep. Sleep is important to the body's ability to rejuvenate. While we're sleeping, the body repairs cells, healing from injury or illness. Sleep is especially important for our brains. Some research suggests that while we sleep, the brain flushes out waste products in the cells that build up while we're awake. It helps us wake up with a clean start to the day. So how do we fall asleep? Located in the center of your brain is the pineal gland. When it gets dark in bedtime, this gland sends out a hormone known as melatonin. This causes your body to relax and get ready for sleep. Now sleep is made up of several cycles and each cycle is made up of several stages. The first stage happens as you're falling asleep. That may take a few minutes and you may be aware of what's happening around you. In the next stage, our body temperature drops and you no longer know what's going on. Your heart rate and breathing become very regular. As you fall into the next stages and eventually into the deepest sleep, your blood pressure drops and your breathing slows. You're very relaxed, and this is the time when your body is healing and restoring your energy levels. These stages are called non-rapid eye movement sleep. About every 90 to 120 minutes, you move into the REM, or rapid eye movement sleep stage. It's called this because during this time, your eyes move rapidly and randomly side to side. An electrocephalogram, or an EEG, tracks the brain waves when your brain moves into REM and all the stages of sleep. And though you can apparently dream in other stages, you do your most memorable and vivid dreaming in REM sleep. And when you're in REM sleep, your brain waves look more like they do when you're awake. Your breathing becomes more rapid and your skeletal muscles become paralyzed. Sleep scientists believe that so you can't accidentally get up and hurt yourself by acting out your dreams. REM sleep is tied to learning and development. Babies spend 50% of their sleep in REM and 50% in stage three sleep. Scientists who study sleep think REM sleep is tied to how our brains store memories and help us solve problems. We seem to have more REM sleep when we've been in unusual situations that require learning lots of new tasks. After a few minutes, you slip back into a lighter sleep stage and then the sleep cycle begins again. What happens when you don't sleep? Going without sleep leads to sleep debt or sleep deficit. You get tired. You have trouble staying awake and paying attention in school. You don't learn as well. You may overeat and be grumpy and you feel sore and stressed and your reaction time is impaired. Even missing just one hour of sleep a night can cause a whole host of problems. And if you miss lots of sleep over a long period of time, you can get really sick. And extreme sleep deprivation can lead to death. So it's really important to get enough sleep. So how can I improve my sleep? Avoid electronic devices in the hour before bed. Don't text, watch TV, or play video games. The light from these screens can stimulate your brain so it's harder to go to sleep. The best advice is to get into a routine. Do the same thing before you go to bed at night. Make sure everything's ready for the next day so you don't worry about it. Brush your teeth, read a book, listen to a story or music, and go to bed and get up at the same time, even on weekends. Hey, that's great advice. Maybe I should go to sleep. Good idea. Sweet dreams.